yes my dear friend welcome back to the channel this is salon's blog i'm excited to come back once again it is late night here in southeast asia malaysia you in africa you are in your evening in europe you're also in your evening i'm very excited to come your way with this exclusives after the press conference today portetino spoke a lot during the press conference and it's my duty to bring you everything that the coach has to say and therefore i'm starting from here regarding ben Chiwa, what the coach said about the bench remember we have 11 players back on the injury list 11 players back on the injury list as a matter of fact we have only four center backs available bench tiago silver do i say bench but they are shelly sorry but they are shelly tiago silver of a good crest and who one other they are the only back four that we have available center backs that we have available right now in chelsea the rest are all injured the rest are all injured or sick. But quickly, Poch has this to say about Ben Chiwa. He said, Chiwa back in training. Ben Chiwa is back in training. He said, this is a special, bizarre season for us as we've suffered a lot with injuries. But I need to stop talking about it and we need to adapt. Accept the reality. <laughs> we need to adapt and accept the reality. He continued, Chiwa is in partial training with the team and we are seeing if he can be in the squad on, or on the bench. We are seeing if he can be in the squad on the bench. On Enzo and Disasi, they are under assessment and have different types of issues. These are players that are on the injury list. Disasi is on the injury list. Enzo is on injury list. And he's saying that they are under assessment and have different types of issues. We don't believe they are big issues. They are not training, so we don't know if they can be available or involved. They are not training. The SAS is not training with the squad. Enzo is not training the squad, meaning he is not sure if those two players will be involved with the squad on Monday night or not. The Sassi, Enzo. <laughs> Uh, going into the game against Everton, we are we already have excuses in case we meet, we lose the game. We already have excuses to give. Who will blame us if 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 we have to lose against Everton? Who is going to blame us? By the way, let me just let you know this: the latest football association figures shows Chelsea paid seventy five point one million pounds in agent fees during the twenty twenty three. 2024 20, season alone. 75.1 million pounds was paid to agents alone in one season. Agents, agent fee in one season by Chelsea. The next highest was Manchester City with 60.6 .6 million to agents. For you to understand how much money Chelsea spent last season on players and agents and looking at the position of the club right now, it's absurd. Well, back to what Pochettino has been saying at the press conference, dear friend. He said, in the last seven to eight games, we didn't lose in Premier League. The most important thing, or the most important, is to win games. Of course, priority is to keep clean sheets. But we want to win games. If we are trying to only keep clean sheets, maybe we play with 10 defenders or 10 defensive players. Do you hear your coach? If you want to keep a clean sheet, maybe they will have to play with 10 defenders. Is that the only way? You, you as a football fan, is that the only way to keep a clean sheet? The, this Pochettino is looking at our face and is insulting us. That if we are demanding for a clean sheet, that means that we, we must use 10 defensive players. That is what he's telling us. I don't blame those who are calling for Poch must go because he's been inconsistent throughout. And I'll prove you again why I'm saying this. Pochettino, he said, it is not fair to judge the players. I don't want to be wrong, but it's really, really tough when you don't have a fully fit squad. That's not an excuse. I want to stop talking about negative things. I want to be positive. 
We need to create a good atmosphere. He continued. He said, when you face teams like Man City, when we face teams like Man City, Man United, Tottenham, or Liverpool, always the team showed good quality. The problem for us is to be consistent. For us, it is lack of maturity that will come with time. <laughs> it didn't just end there. He said, in the past, we didn't score. Now we are scoring. It's about balance. The problem now is to get the right balance between the two faces, defending and attacking. That is the normal process. Nine months, nine months, you are telling us to find the balance between defending and attacking. You also recognize the fact that now the team, the squad is scoring goals, but they are equally leaking goals. But you also made a statement that if you want to defend, that means you must play with 10 defenders. Watch. We are not stupid. Chelsea fans are not stupid. We've seen it all before. After all, we won two Champions League before you came. The last one, the season before your arrival. We are not stupid. Yeah. It is better, I keep saying, it's better you keep quiet. It's better you don't say anything. Than you saying things that will make the fans angry. Listen, before I let you go, Pochettino said a few weeks ago, few weeks ago, Poch, this is a statement he made. Why I said to you that this coach is not being consistent. Few weeks ago, this is what he said. He said, there is no one else to give Casado and Enzo a rest in the midfield. There is no player again to give Casado and Enzo a rest in the midfield. Now he agrees that Chelsea have one of the best academies. If we have one of the best academies, then why are you saying that there's no one else to give Enzo and Casado a rest in the midfield? Listen, the Chelsea have an abundance of talent, talented midfielders. Pochettino saying this now. Chelsea have an abundance of talented midfielders that could have come off the bench. I am sure there is a dynamic right back instead of Bissassi. This is a manager. That is full of contradictions and needs to be as soon as possible. Just a few weeks ago, he was given an excuse that there's no one to, you know, that can give Casado and Enzo a rest. Today, he is saying that the academy is one of the best, and there is an abundance of talent of midfielders in the academy. Likewise, the defense that there is a dynamic right back instead of the Sassi. There is a dynamic right back in the academy instead of the Sassi. Why are you so inconsistent, Pochettino? Today you say it's like this, the next is like this. Okay, you brought in Kasadai from loan where he was doing well. As to deputize for Kasaido and Enzo in case of injury, right? But you've never given him a minute of football. Santos, Andre Santos, now playing with, with Strasbourg, winning the uh, player of the month with Strasbourg. I saw Santos play in, uh, in, in our preseason. I was personally, I was actually surprised that Santos was loaned out. To be honest with you guys, I was really surprised because when I saw that guy in our preseason, I was like, wow, what a talented young player. What a talented, talented young midfielder. I, I was not really happy when he was loaned out. I was shocked to the call. Yeah, friend, we move to some other news. My time is up before I let you go. Real Madrid fans are starting to doubt the signing of Kelly Mbappe. <laughs> they are beginning to doubt the sign of Kelly Mbappe, especially if, if he disappears in big games like he did against Barcelona. Real fans were placing their hopes on him to beat Barcelona. But he disappointed them. My goodness. My goodness. He disappointed them. <laughs> hey, anyway, dear friend, I'll have to let you go. I'll have to let you go. It is late. 
here. Well, in conclusion, actually, Chelsea are aggressive presses and only allow 10.53 passes per defensive actions. That is a statistic that came out. Chelsea are aggressive presses and only allow 10.53 passes per defensive action, which put them inside the Premier League's top five sides for that metric. However, the Blues defense can often be left exposed when teams play through their press, primarily because they lack an athletic, defensive minded central midfielder to shield the back line effectively. Do you get that correctly? The Blues defense can often be left exposed when teams play through their press, primarily because they lack an athletic, defensive-minded central midfielder to shield the back line. And that is the reason why we are conceding goals. It is not that Chelsea needed to have 10 defensive players. No, Chelsea doesn't need 10 defenders. No, as our coach wants us to believe. Our problem is that we don't have an aggressive defensive midfielder. Defensive-minded central midfielder. Aggressive one. We don't have it to shield the back line. That is Chelsea's problem. Dear friend, I will see you in the next one when you see me. This is my take on all that the coach had to say at the presser that I'm bringing you right now. It is not as if we need 10 defenders. No, we only lack an aggressive, defensive-minded central midfielder to shield the back line. I will see you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.